The claim that the Jehovah's Witness organization makes about their New World Translation Bible is that it's loyal to God's Word, and they wanted to use the most up-to-date manuscripts for an accurate translation. What are some telltale signs that they've not taken the most up-to-date translation of codices and manuscripts? In the letter to the Romans, Paul speaks of many women who are leaders in the church, but curiously, the New World Translation contains an intentional redaction from the 1500s. He greets many of his kinsmen and sisters and brothers in the church in chapter 16. In verse 7, Paul addresses an apostle who was in Christ before he was, Junia. Why here, though, in the New World Translation is the name Junius? It turns out that Junia is the name of an apostle, and to cover up the female name, an S was added at the end to make it sound masculine, even though Junius is not a male name. Not only that, the translators added who are men to hide their tracks further. Indeed, Phoebe meets a similar fate at the beginning of chapter 16. She is called Diakonos, or deacon, which is changed into minister at an attempt at lessening her importance. The final word that Paul uses to describe Phoebe is prostatis, which can be patron, sponsor, or benefactress. The feminine form of the word was used, meaning she was supporting the ministry work with her finances, much like Mary the Watchtower, a.k.a. Mary Magdala, had done. Not only was Phoebe in charge of handling Paul's letter, but she was representing him. The early church leaned on the support of women not only financially but emotionally. Much like the first temple was built with the finances and backing from the elite women David and Solomon had married, how is it that the governing body continues to overlook and manipulate these and many other passages in their supposedly accurate Bible? How is it men can continue to manipulate an inerrant word of God? How can the governing body claim their translation is God's word when we have evidence they've purposely ignored scholarly information? Why would a God allow a billion-dollar company to profit from their inaccuracy? Misogyny has long clouded the opinion of many, proof that the Bible is not the inspired word of God, but the desire of men like the governing body. For instance, if women were highly established in Jesus' early ministry and church, why do they continue to oppress women and not allow them leadership positions? Or if Yahweh, or yod heh he is the recognized name in Hebrew, why continue to call him by his modernized, worldly name, Jehovah? If you're interested, I can try to break down what the divine name really is in another video. But for now, continue to ask questions. See ya! Happy New Year! Listen, obey, be blessed. Woo!